Go ahead. Mr. President-elect, go ahead. Can you say categorically the question? Mr. President-elect, can you give us a question? Don't be rude. Can you give us a question? Don't be rude. No, I'm not going to give you a question. I'm not going to give you a question. Can you say categorically? You are fake news. Sir. Hi, I'm Dr. Dave Janda. Welcome back to Dave versus the MSM. Now, a little program note. There is an interview I recently did with Dr. Lee Merritt that I cannot put on this platform. It's at DaveJanda.com. Every American, frankly, every person in the world that has gone through this past year needs to watch this. It is information the bought-off lamestream fake media will never touch. What is it about? I can't even say the topic without getting either deplatformed or a strike against me. The last time I mentioned the medical entity on this platform, YouTube or YonTube, we got a strike and we're threatened to be taken down. It is about the, about the, and about the data. This is what petrifies the deep state, these facts. And Dr. Merritt, who's one of the top physicians and surgeons and researchers in this country, and I had a discussion. And it's a discussion you need to see. It's on the homepage of DaveJanda.com under Featured Interviews. I encourage you to go there. Today's topic is obey. You must obey about everything. I quote John Steinbeck from Grapes of Wrath. Quote, and the little screaming fact that sounds throughout all history is repression only seeks to strengthen and knit the repressed, end quote. That is something the, the deep state does not get. Now, prior to basement Joe Biden's first goat rodeo of a press conference the other week, he gave a first address to the public to the American public about, well, how much he cares. Yeah, right. Notice he, has, he still, to this day, to this date, has not given a State of the Union address. And remember, it took him 65 days to have that goat rodeo or press conference where he's reading the sheets the whole time with the pictures and who to call on and what number and what they're going to ask and his written answers, which were already in a book for him. 65 days. And, and lest anyone thinks, like the people outside in the People's Republic of Ann Arbor, he said, well, it wasn't that long. Well, really? Because the person who held the record for holding off until having a press conference up until that point in time over the past 100 years was George W. Bush, and it was 33 days. But at this, at this first public address he gave, just before the press conference, about a week before, oh, Biden... Oh, Biden. Oh, oh, Obama, really. Uh, he stated, Biden states, obey. Biden outlines a dystopia in dark and hopelessness. That was the sum of his first address, according to this from Zero Hedge. Yeah. That's what they say. We, uh, this is what Biden stated at the time. Quote, we will issue further guidance on what you can and cannot do. End quote. Obey. Joe Biden delivered his first prime time address recently since the beginning of his, quote, unity, end quote, reign. Quote, this is what Biden said, we will issue further guidance on what you can and cannot do. Simply put, obey. America and some of those freedoms your founders bequeath unto you will be returned. Conrad Black. National Interest Editor, was even less charitable, calling Biden's speech a complete and total failure. Yeah, from a freedom standpoint, it sure was. But let's talk about our own totalitarian thug right here in Michigan, Governor Gretchen Whitmer. 
On this YouTube channel, about seven months ago, I interviewed an incredible patriot by the name of Carl Menke. He's a barber from northern Michigan who, during the crisis, refused to obey. He was taken to court by Whitmer, the governor, the attorney general, Nessel, and every time he went to court because he wanted to keep giving haircuts and he wanted to keep his store open and take the necessary precautions to protect people, he would go to court and he kept winning. And this infuriated the totalitarians. He said, wait a minute, if other people get this idea, we're going to lose control. They, they're not obeying. This Carl Mankey guy's not obeying. Take a look at that interview. It was part of our subscription service at our Insider Insight Show. Our subscribers asked that I make it public. I did. So if you're on this channel, there's you'll see a little video tag. Hit the video tag. About seven months down, Carl Mankey's interview. Now, I bring that up because of what happened just the other day. Gretchen Whitmer's board finds folk hero barber Carl Menke $9,000 for, quote, carrying a comb in his pocket while attending a protest. I kid you not. This is not something out of the onion. Kyle Olson from Breitbart. A regulatory board appointed, well, obey, obey, a, a regulatory board appointed by Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer leveled a $9,000 fine against a barber who defied her lockdown orders last spring. Carl Menke repeatedly refused to close his shop in Owasso and won several court cases against Whitmer and Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel as they sought to punish him. They lost so many times. A judge in Michigan finally ordered them to stop pursuing the 77-year-old barber. Now, the Whitmer-appointed Michigan Board of Barber Examiners slapped Mankey with several fines totaling $9,000. The Detroit News reported, quote, for violations that included carrying a comb in his pocket at a rally, Hence the fine. Okay. So in other words, Carl Menke was fined $9,000 by Whitmer and her crew because he was carrying a concealed comb. <gasps> he wasn't obeying. Oh, no. I wonder, you wonder now, could Carl, I, I have a call into can he open carry a comb at this point? Do you think maybe that did he have an does he have an automatic comb? Hmm. I wonder if his comb had a suppressor or a silencer. Hmm. Did the comb come with multiple? Do you think magazines? Maybe Whitmer. Maybe her next move should be to restrict the number of teeth in his comb. This is how off the charts the totalitarian thugs have become. R whether they're basement Joe Biden or Corona Gretchen Whitmer or whoever it might be. But this show of force just the other day here in Michigan by Whitmer was put front and center, I believe, to cover for an interesting, a very interesting development that Whitmer and the totalitarian thugs want buried. What is it? Here it is. This happened the day before. This was announced, this whole brubahaha about Carl Menke. They wanted to take the focus away from this development. Judge tosses junk terrorism charges against three defendants in Whitmer plot where ringleader was an FBI informant. The ringleader in the plot to kidnap Gr Governor Gretchen Whitmer was an FBI informant. Yeah, right. So, right. 
they were too busy trying to set people up on this and set people up like General Flynn and set people up like Donald Trump, right? Yeah. But they didn't have time to investigate what happened on November 3rd. I can't talk about that or otherwise I get the platform. But it goes on. This FBI informant was planted into the group and was the one who pushed the entire plan. The FBI was spying, this is from Jim Hoft, the FBI was spying on lower middle class Americans and setting them up on charges. The FBI then later arrested one of their own informants in the plot. This was occurring as riots were occurring around the country through, oh, our favorite organizations, right? You know, the old Antifa BLM folks. Charges were dropped against the three defendants this past week in Michigan. Michigan Judge, we got an honest one. Michigan Judge Michael Clarnon dropped charges against three men in the case. The Detroit News reported three men accused in alleged plot to kidnap Governor Gretchen Whitmer will not face false report or threat of, of terror charges, a Jackson County judge ruled. Judge Michael Clarendon of the 12th District Court in Jackson dismissed the charge against Joseph Morrison and Peter Muzico, both of Munich, and declined a request by prosecutors to add it to the charges against Paul Beller of Milford. This is what the judge said, quote, There has to be some form of intent here to incite mayhem, end quote. And the guy who arranged this whole plot was an FBI informant. Obey. Because if you don't obey, they're going to set you up. Or they're going to take away your comb. Or they're going to fine you for carrying a comb. Or gosh knows what they're going to do. It's all about obey. Well, that's what this platform is all about. Maintaining your freedom. And not obeying totalitarian thugs and how to educate and empower people by providing them information they're not going to get through the deep state's tentacle bought off lamestream fake media. And that's where you come in to network this information. Let your neighbors know. Say, hey, you ever hear about this guy, Carl Menke? Did you hear about Biden saying obey? You had to obey every... Did... You didn't? Well, that's too... Because you're too busy watching CNN, MSNBC, Fox, ABC, NBC, CBS, PBS, you name it. No. Now, every Tuesday morning, I normally put up an Operation Freedom Briefing, go into great depth. I still do, but not on this platform. Can't I cannot because I would be deplatformed. So every Tuesday morning at 10 a.m., I put up an Operation Freedom Briefing at DaveJanda.com. Top of the homepage, you'll see it, Operation Freedom Briefing. In addition, right next to it is the interview I did with Dr. Lee Merritt. You must watch that. It is critical for your health and well-being. Okay? It's about, and, and data, data, facts, science. The deep state doesn't want you to know about any of that. In addition, right above that is an interview I did with Aaron Maria Olashevsky about what was going on in New York. Again, something the deep state does not want you to know about. She blew the whistle over a year ago on this, was hammered for it. But that's what happens when you tell the truth. And that's what this channel and that's what we do at Dave Janda is all about. Now, the radio show, Operation Freedom, you can join us every Sunday from 2 to 5 Eastern. It's free. Go to DaveJanda.com, hit the Listen Live button. It takes a Wham Talk 1600 streaming service. Hit the play button. You're with us. Great guests, great analysis. Extra shows, WTF show, Insider Insight show, all the archives to our shows, the podcast to our radio show, all available at DaveJanda.com. Become a subscriber. Biggest bank for the buck in all the internet. Until next time, Dave Janda signing off. Dream big, dare to fail. Go to DaveJanda.com. Thanks very much for your time.